They do a great job, and everyone at the ERA is good. You know, some organisations organise things, they don't, they don't do it properly. They do everything perfectly. Very good. 10 out of 10 for them. The actual rally itself, um, yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it. I mean, for me, I, I didn't want to be a rally driver. You know, I want to drive Peking to Paris. If I didn't do another special stage in my life, it wouldn't bother me. I'm happy to cruise Peking to Paris. I just want to get there. There are two types of people on this rally. There's people like me who just want to do it. There are people who want to be rally drivers, want to be competitive, want to get good times. Steve's one of those types of people, and there are those types of people on this rally. Um, so I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the hotels, obviously. And, uh, you know, I'm enjoying the whole sense of adventure. Stopping in little cafes and talking to people and everything. Not enjoyed the camping at all. Uh, but I am enjoying the rally, yes, definitely. Um... Now, to be honest, I'm not enjoying our car. It's really let us down. It's not Steve's fault. It's the preparer's fault, if you're watching this. I mean, the radiator was badly pinned. Four holes, which resulted us in a truck. The suspension failed. Whoever specced that up, it's a wrong suspension. And then today, the brakes failed, you know. I mean, we were driving in really, really heavy traffic uh, all day prior to the brakes failing. Doing 70, 80 miles an hour with trucks and cars overtaking head-on, necessitating heavy braking. The brakes that have failed half an hour before they did, and they failed when we just pulled into a petrol station to stop, I wouldn't be making this video now. I'd be lying in a hospital bed, um, so or dead. So, you know, safety is number one for me. So always prepare your car well if you're going to do P2P. Well, this is the new uh, Russia, isn't it? Uh, all the designer brands, Nova, Subursk. It's a very pleasant evening. I'm just walking from my hotel, the Hilton now, to the Marriott to have dinner and see how the rally's getting on. Back wheels came yeah. down as we went into the little kit. It pulled forward and it gripped the bottom of the overdrive. Oh, fuck. It's a fantastic view of the city from up here. We've gone to the 10th floor restaurant and that's the Opera House. And if you just look down there, I'll zoom in for you viewers, see all those classic uh, Peking to Paris cars parked up. Lovely here. Look at the whole city. How much nicer is this than China? Wow, Putin's Russia has really come on. Look at the kind of decadence and affluence of the hotels. Didn't get this years ago, did you? No, not at all. It was grim and uh, they've kind of embraced capitalism, I suppose. Some people on the rally have opted out of the buffet and are ordering expensive food in this restaurant. Very nice, very buzzy here. Lovely. So, such as our status, the police have actually sealed off this whole area for the rally so we can drive down the road unimpeded. We're just about to start, there's the Marriott, and we're leaving Novosibirsk and heading for Omsk. Novosibirsk and heading for Omsk. Look at this, dancing girls and everything, a band. Wow, fantastic. First set of lights, ignore the no left turn sign. I don't know if it's here, no, no, you can't go here. 0.61, no, really 2, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're obviously waiting for them. Yeah. On the tail of Paul Smith's uh, Mercedes 123 there, W123. Lovely. This is nice now, the open road. Hundreds of kilometres to do every day from Russian town to Russian town. So we drifted driven to Omsk and we left at 9 this morning and we got here about half past 5. Not a bad day. This is my rather dormitory, it's like student accommodation here in the Ibis Hotel. But no, I'm not complaining. Compared to camping, anything's great. So, rally reports, you know, because of the problems with the car, what we're doing is we're not doing the test, the sections where you drive very quickly or as quickly as you can. We're just kind of cruising from hotel to hotel, which actually suits me. Um, but that's always an option. If you think of going on the rally, you kind of won't be, pe well, you're penalised a bit, but you still, you know, get a silver medal. You still have driven peaking to Paris. So don't be too hard on yourselves or us for doing that. I mean, we've got to look after the car, that's priority one. And its occupants. And its occupants are priority one, the car's priority two. That's good. I don't know quite what it symbolises. Maybe an advert for something, but uh, it's impressive. Today has taken its toll. Well, I've left the bubble of the rally to show you something of Omsk. This is the river running through it. I don't know the name of it. If you know it, shout it out now. So it's not a you know, particularly pretty town, there's, there's some kind of greenery and things, but I don't know, it's uh, quite industrialised, the towns, obviously some old buildings there. 
people are happy and young people in the street are holding hands and yeah, it's a buzzy kind of place to be, Russia. It's a nice place to be. Another town, another start. The car park reverberates the sounds of engines being fired up, the sound of petrol. Just, uh, you know, it's kind of tiring, I'd say. Tiring now. But we've got to keep going, we keep pushing on. We've got to get the next, to the next hotel. Running in a little Mercedes convoy now. It's a bit of a dreary day, but we're on the tarmac and we're on the main road. It's quite a long drive to uh, the next town, but uh, it goes down by a kilometre every time. Well, I'm amazed it's, I made it to another hotel. Um, I, with all the things that are going wrong with the car, carburetor's out of balance, the back end's making a noise, the gearbox is still jumping. Just amazed we made it here. That's my goal. Every day we set off, I've got to get to the next hotel. Forget Paris, it's the next hotel. So I'm just going to have a little nap now, maybe I'll have a bath and then dinner, and maybe I'll show you around town. We are a right, guys, all relaxing. Let me show you the view of our town, two men. Oh, it's nice. Pretty. Kind of ugly architecture there, but it's a nice town. Chris, um, got a caller on line one. We want to ask you, how's the call? How's the rally going? It's going fantastic. Really glad you chose the Dyson. <laughs> there we are. That's, that's as enthusiastic as you'll get. By Martin and Martin in the classic Bentley. Yes. Um, how's your day been today? Bloody long, to be fair, because we had to, the rack cracked, the boot rack, and we had to call off uh, the main road to the farmer's little shed, and they welded it, kindly welded it up for us, so we're really good. But apart from that, how would you summarise the rally? Are you enjoying it? Uh, yes. Good. Have to think about it. All Russian cities must be built along the banks of great rivers, and uh, this city, Tumen, I think that's how you pronounce it, is no exception. So it's quite pleasant here down by the river, quite green, some rather brutal architecture there. It's quite a kind of modern city, modern buildings and kind of, I don't know, it's got, it's got a kind of interesting feel to it. It's quite a nice city, prettier than Omsk. Anyway, now to dinner and then onwards to the next city. That house. Look at that house. It looks like something Dostoevsky would have stayed in. We haven't seen much of the old Russia on that trip. That's old Russia. Uh, He's been hit by a lorry. He's just telling the story. Jumping like this. So he went to, to, his, to his own side of the road. Mm -hmm. Then the truck has passed and he climbed uh, towards us. We passed it and he hit it from our, he hit our back and continued to our side of the bush. The weather's very variable in Siberia. One minute it's quite warm, and the next it drops 10 degrees and it's pouring with rain. Be wary of that. It's 10 to 3. Things are looking up. Just got into my hotel room and it's kind of weird. It's nice. I like it. It's modern. Look at this big bed and then bathroom over there. Kind of uh, nice. Nice. So we're in the town of Yekaterinburg today. Um, it was quite an easy drive. We went straight down the freeway because of our car. So that's the city. I'm going to go have some food. Haven't eaten. Then go shopping for a few essentials. So yeah, no, pleased to be here. Hotel to hotel suits me fine. I've managed to grab a few minutes with a very important man, Fred uh, Galler, who's the rally director. How do you feel kind of being the kind of, do you feel like the weight of responsibility on your shoulders or how does it feel being the organiser? Yeah, I do. I sort of explain to people that you, you've all got to worry I've, about I've the ordered. car. Okay. Yes, of course. I go back now live to Fred Gallagher. Fred, continue, please. Yeah. Uh, I always explain to people that you guys doing the rally, you've got one car to worry about and I've got about 105 cars <laughs> yes, to worry that's about. Right. So, uh, it must be a great job to have. It's a kind of dream job, isn't it, really, if you're into rallying? Yes, it is a dream job. I mean, it, 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 it has its tricky moments, of course, because one does feel like an enormous responsibility to make sure that all of you people, A, have a good time, B, have a fair sporting time. Well, I'm not sucking up. I'm, this is the truth. You, you guys, ERA, do a brilliant job. Well, do a very, very good job. To say so. It's true. Yeah, it's true. But we can't, we can't rest in those laurels. We have to, uh, we have to keep doing it yeah, as that's much right. as we possibly can. Okay. And, uh, Thanks, Fred. Keep it there. You can tell that's the higher from the outside. So kind of steel and glass around here. Look at this. Very modern. Very modern. I'm just going into town now to try and find a rucksack and some clothes. That's a funny car. It's not on the rally. Don't know what car it is. 